Guys, fucking way. Check oh. out. Fucking the head. Hey, we got you. Sean Strickland, the IT geek. Let's go. All right. Fuck it, <laughs> man. Do you guys train? What do you guys do? Just fucking. Do you guys just put on a podcast? I so I've got a company. Um, I've got a company. We sponsor a bunch of fighters. We sponsor John, uh, Ilya, Roy Jones Jr. Um, we got crypto. a streetwear company. Okay, guys, yeah, a crypto. I don't know about that, man. That's not really doing too hot these days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, now I do podcasts because I'm so fucking broke. Yeah. All right. So, you guys, how do how do you want to do this, man? We're I'm in Connecticut. I'm at a Starbucks. I'm trying not to offend anybody, but there's nobody here, so we're good. Then let's fucking go. All right. So you guys all in Tennessee? You guys all out in fucking hillbilly land? I'm, I'm in, in Florida, but I was born and raised in hillbilly land in Tennessee. Oh, there we go. How about you, man? The sunglass guy. We got out. Albuquerque. Yeah, you got to have your gimmick, the sunglasses, you know? It's either that or you're autistic. I knew you. See, dude, I said yesterday, I know this motherfucker's going to say something about my glasses, so let's get that out of the way right away. Yeah. Well, you, let me that. ask you something. What are you hoping to accomplish? Like, what is what is the message here? Is it the message here that I'm just super fucking cool, I wear a hat, and I'm just fucking, like, what is the message? Um, what do you want? What, when I look at you, when we all look at you, what are we supposed to fucking say? You're just not supposed to see my eyes because I smoked a fat blunt. Okay. All okay. right. <laughs> That's the thing, dude. I just I gotta ask myself, what are you trying to convey? You know what I'm saying? Besides, you yeah, look like nothing. a NASCAR racer. No, <laughs> that's the first time I heard that one. Um, yeah, no, dude. I don't like people when I get stoned, bro. As long as people don't look at my eyes, I'm chill. Yeah, no, man. You got the hipster thing. You got the beard. You got the hat. You got the little unbuttoned thing. What is that? A cross on your neck? No, it's a win. See, I knew. Look, tear me down, dog. Tear me down. I, I had the long hair too. I just yeah. went Sean Strickland, bro. Let's fucking go, man. Like his hair down to his fucking what is what is your little fucking your necklace? What is that? What do you what are you trying to convey? What do you want us to see? Dude, it's a good question, man. It's just one of those things, bro. Like when you walk into a bar and you plan this out in your head, like, oh, I'm gonna buy a girl a drink, and like, which is not gonna happen, and she says, Oh. Look at that cool necklace. Tell me about it. Like, what is your spill? What do you? What is your? I get me fucking pussy spill. Okay. Well, so um, it works really well, first of all. And uh, wait, wait, no, uh, I don't know, man. Quick question, yeah. Sean. What were you wearing yesterday at the fucking Starbucks when she thought you were homeless? I was. I'm just fucking wearing this, man. I'm fucking. I wearing... told you. I fucking called it, dude. When you said that yesterday, I said, bro, guarantee you wear white shirt, jeans, in the fucking janitor clip. With the keys. Yeah. Bro, I'm the fucking, and well, dude, I walk in there and she's like, excuse me, sir, can I get you water? And I'm just like, bitch, I got money. I got a job. Like, I, got, <laughs> I get I'm you here, a water. I'm here for the Yeah. Anyways, man, you know, Albuquerque sucks. Um, it's empty. I mean, besides Albuquerque, New Mexico being a shithole, which, you know, it sucks. There's no, there's no bodies there. It, it was big when they had John Jones. So I went to Albuquerque years ago thinking, oh, man, John Jones, like, this is the best fucking gym ever. I get to learn how to fucking do drugs and beat my wife and go train in Albuquerque. I can't wait. So I go there. I fucking go there, and, like, it's empty. There's nobody fucking there. There's no bodies. There's no training. Greg Jackson was probably out trying to be fucking best friends with the next superstar. Yeah, Albuquerque wasn't for me. Was it when they had the newer Jacksons? I mean, because no. like, you're not hurting my feelings. Name just so it was that new one downtown. Why right, do you train at Jackson's? No, fuck no. Yeah, no. I mean, fucking yeah. No, there was just there's just nobody there. It's uh. So here, here's the thing, dude. Like you get these fucking freaks in nature, like John Jones, right? George St. Pierre, even we could say that. I know he doesn't really look like a freak in nature, but you know he, he's he has the mind for it. So you get these coaches and they get these fucking freaks of nature and these freaks of nature go and like win world titles and people tend to put it all on the coach. Like, Oh man, Jackson's the best fucking gym. Like we got John Jones, bro. John Jones can go train in a fucking crackhead's garage and win a world fucking title. So that's my, you know, I went there, there was nobody there and I left, but I like, I like Greg. He's a nice guy, a little weaselly looking, but he's a nice guy. So, yeah, anyways, man, that's that's my thoughts on Jackson's. Any any yeah. other questions, guys? Any other any other questions? 
Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, tell me this, uh, Sean. I mean, obviously, you're you're in the middle of fucking camp. You're you're fighting in what two weeks now? Yeah, about three weeks. You're heading, you're heading yeah, fucking hard in two weeks. Yeah, yeah, rough. Fifteen days. Um, what made you take this fight? Money, money. Uh, the UFC just said pretty much they offered me a couple uh, uh, ring guys. Everybody said no. So pretty much the UFC just said. Um, Either wait like six, eight months so somebody opens up or just sit on the bench. I wanted, I think the real fight that should happen, me and Costa. I don't know what the fuck the UFC was thinking that, to not put me and Costa on a main event card or like a headline card, but it's his life, man. So they, me, yeah, fuck you. they offered me, so they offered me this fight and I was like, fuck, I don't want to fight this guy. There's no name motherfucker, you know, a boost, a boo from a lad now. I don't fucking know this guy. But then UFC said, hey, you know what? We want this fight. Here's some money. And I said, all right, let's fight this guy. So here, here we are. Man. We, we, I mean, at the end of the day, dude, we're all fucking whores. We all have a dollar amount. How much, yeah, how much do you know Chris about Curtis, it? Yeah, Chris Curtis, always used to say, we're prize fighters. Give us a prize and we'll fight. That's yeah. at the end of the day, we're not martial artists. We're, we're prize fighters. Yeah, and our career is short, man. Yeah, so you got you to gotta fucking rake up the stacks while they're there. Look, it's, it's yeah. not just fighting either, boys. We're all whores. Like, yeah. it, it translates to all other fucking businesses as well. Everybody's on, dude. Everybody has a pimp. But uh, I don't really know much about him. I watched him fight uh, I watched him fight Dustin, uh, Dustin Skolci. He's a fucking utter can, man. I mean, I don't even think Dustin should be in the UFC. Like, so it's kind of funny that you, they're going to use that guy as a highlight reel. Dustin came to Vegas and just got fucking mocked. I think I ended up breaking his nose in the first round, knocked him out in like two minutes. Like, I don't fucking can. So, you know, you, but that's the best thing about fighting, man. Sometimes, like, sometimes you just get lucky, man. You get signed to UFC, and then the UFC will, like, feed you a, a little poodle, and then you go and you do some badass shit. It was like, oh, fuck. Not knowing that Dustin fucking, you know, fucking, my little fucking niece could fuck up Dustin. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, hey, this last weekend, uh, Amanda Nunes, she she went on and she, she defended her title. She retired oh, after that. Man. Now, like before she left the ring, Juliana Pena was calling her out, saying she's you know a punk for leaving. Did you Did see? You it? I called it four right minutes before it happened. Get that next title fight. Uh, what are my options? <laughs> <laughs> any female, any male, anyone you want to fight for that one thirty-five pound title? Five pounder? I don't fucking know, dude. Like. I don't any any man that wants to compete with a fucking girl is another fucking coward. But I mean, like, yeah, I agree with that. John, best of luck, brother. Appreciate you coming on, man. Can't wait to uh, watch you beat his ass in uh, July first. Thanks, John. All right, we'll see you later, buddy.